dural tear is a uh, inevitable uh, uh, durotomy induced csf leak is a common complication of spinal surgery with incidence of uh, 3 to 16 percent is uh, dural tear uh, uh, can be recognized uh, intraoperatively or in a delayed fashion where uh, the uh, dura is very thin or the margin along the laminectomy defect has a bony spicule when CSF outflow exceeds the strength of suture tissue, there will be persistent uh, CSF connection between intradural and outside the incision. Uh, we need to treat as early as possible. If uh, not treated, it will uh, leads to narrow root entrapment, meningitis, brain abscess, and even intracranial hemorrhage. Uh, no literature have mentioned optimal method for managing of CSF uh, leak. Still, it's controversial. Uh, how does it present postoperatively? Uh, one can present with uh, swelling over the back or rec recurrent uh, leakage from the wound. Today's our object is to, sorry, uh, how should we go for? Should we re-explore? Today's uh, objectives of my study is to establish is if it is always necessary to re-explore a case of CSF leak following spinal surgery. Who retrospectively studied uh, cases from 2016 to 2022. The patients with CSF leak recognized postoperatively are those that persisted in spite of an attempt at repair intraoperatively were reviewed. And we excluded uh, minimally invasive spine cases as principal is different entity. And we came with a strategy, treatment strategy. Uh, if patient presents with continuous profuse leak or pseudo meningeal, uh, we'll proceed with the diverse and drain. If we present with a droplet of CSF leak from incision set, then we'll apply zipper ratcheting strap. If leak notice postoperatively with wound drain, then we'll strategically remove the wound drain. And we we got result. Uh, CSF leak occurred in 3.63 uh, percent. Average age was 53 years. Male to female ratio was 4.22508. And we applied diversion drain in seven cases. Strategic wound drain in two cases zipper ratcheting staff in seven cases and these cases were followed for a period of six months. Uh, distribution leaks more in lumbar region around 85 percent is than thoracic 30 percent is and uh, least in th cervical. Uh, we got we notice uh, dural tear majority during decompression and during T leaf and uh, uh, no recurrence of CSF leak were noticed postoperatively. Why we are hesitant to re-explore such cases? Uh, when uh, uh, in irreparable cases where the dura is lacerated or have ragged edges, re-exploration uh, re is another surgery and it uh, give a economic burden to patient, social morbidity, longer hospital stay, psychological impact, wound. Uh, every revision case is a uh, risk for wound infection. And CSF is a corrosive one, so it uh, delayed the wound healing. What special will you do this time to index surgery? And the treatment approaches were classified into uh, two groups based on fluid, uh, fluid flow mechanics. One, one is stopping CSF leak by direct suture or augmented closure with the dural substitute. And second is uh, retarding CSF leak by reducing the subarachnoid fluid pressure or increasing the epidural space pressure. Uh, first technique is diverse and drain is a method of CSF sending by a subarachnoid catheter which in turn reduces subarachnoid fluid pressure. It can be used prophylactically, therapeutically. The patient placed in lateral position uh, with 14 gauze, uh, 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 we did the lumbar puncture. Uh, the needle is directed uh, uh, superiorly at with advancing around 20 centimeter inside. The other end is connected to uh, bag set which have a red controller and it kept uh, 5 to 6 centimeter lower than the entry point and uh, for the first 5 days drainage was kept at the rate of uh, 8 ml per hour and during uh, during hospital stay patient was on uh, IV antibiotics and closely neuro monitored. This is schematic uh, representation of diverse and drain and the post-op and some of the pre and uh, post images were the uh, complete cessation of uh, CSF leak in uh, after 7 days seen in MRI. Uh, the literature says that it has a success rate about 85 to 94 percent is and it widely used for CSF leak with unrecognized site of fistula. A second technique is uh, application of zipper ratcheting strap. Once the CSF leak is identified in post operative period, the, uh, then we apply this uh, uh, ratcheting strap over the incision site. It has adjustable polyurethane that lock uh, into place to preserve the tension. 
this the tight uh, pressure closure will increases the epidural pressure in turn reduces csf flow then helps in dural flap to adhere and our own uh, uh, paper was published in 2019 and uh, it we had a good re excellent result and one more advantage of uh, zipper ratcheting straps were uh, is a non invasive one and another is its ease of application and third technique is uh, statistically removal of subfacial wound and epidural csf flow uh, uh, may be developed secondary to durotomy and it is wrapped by the incisional tight incisional tissue uh, the, if the csf outflow is beyond the strength of sutured tissue it leads to persi persistent communication uh, persistent csf communi communication so tight facial closure should be uh, optimal and uh, uh, then it reduces the csf flow it facilitates the dura flap to adhere meantime the uh, diverse uh, subfacial drain will remove the excessive csf leak and uh, and it eliminates the dead space also this schematic presentation of uh, uh, subfacial wound drain and in uh, the literature we seen that uh, uh, good excellent result no recurrence in csf and we have limitations uh, one is infection excessive flu uh, fluid drainage persistent of pseudomeningocele fistula along uh, catheter tract and pneumocephalus clinical practice is always evolution there may be a situation that might force us to re-explore thus we conclude that diversion drain strategic removal of wound drain and uh, zipper ratcheting straps are simple effective modes of managing preventing post-operative csf leak this technique may help in avoiding re-exploration thus minimizing wound related morbidity and economic burden thank you